Hi everyone and welcome to day 6 of Inktober. Today the prompt is Rodent. I didn't really have any particular inspiration for this one. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. I just wanted to draw a rodent, I guess. And I was inspired by what I see every single day in my yard, either a squirrel or a chipmunk. And as I was looking for reference photos, I just liked this uh, particular one of a chipmunk, so that's what I decided to paint. I had an idea in my mind of what I wanted it to look like, but I really didn't know how to achieve it. So I just went for it and hoped for the best. I used a homemade watercolor journal that I bought online. It has Arsh paper in it. It's cold press and 140 pounds because I wanted to use my inks as watercolor. And um, I just basically built layers. I tried to be shy. I didn't want to go straight with the stronger inks and the darker ones. So I started with the lighter inks and I built layers and I added darker colors on top of the lighter ones. I just built my values progressively, but stayed loose, just trying to give impressions of the fur without painting any details. And I quite liked the result when I thought I was done and that I had found the colors that looked pretty close to the photo. I let it all dry and I grabbed my fine liner and I did the line work. So all the outlines and, uh, and I defined the hair with that. So I was a bit apprehensive at the beginning, but I'm very happy with what came out of it. Except for my little accident. <laughs> I was just trying to show you that uh, some sediment or I'm not quite sure what it was, but some of the ink was very thick inside the pipette in my bottle. And so I couldn't pick any liquid ink with it. Uh, I had seen that happen before and all I had to do was just push it out by pushing on the little squishy part at the end and uh, I just want to show you on camera what it looked like. I had the bottle underneath. I knew it was going to fall back in the bottle because that's what happened to me last time. Uh, so I wanted to show you what it looked like, like a little warm coming out of it. And then all of a sudden there was an air bubble and just pushed everything out and went splatter everywhere so I was not very happy but I decided not to clean it up and in the end I splattered a few more colors and now it almost looks like it was done on purpose almost <laughs> anyway thank you all for stopping by again today I'll see you tomorrow with day seven of Inktober bye bye <laughs>